Okay, what's happening? Uh, <clears throat> um, I love using this thing because it piss pieces pisses people off. Go. No, <laughs> don't want to piss people off. Um, try to be true. Never be someone that tries to please other people. Only be someone that seeks the truth. Loves wisdom. Wisdom is a better comfort late in the evening than talking out of both sides of your mouth, trying to get people to believe in something you say or have a good persona, like a politician or like a movie star or something like that. And of course, I'm not even close to any of those things, nor do I even look like one. Um, as I went before, said before a million times, ISO is not sensitivity. ISO is not exposure. We're going to talk about ISO and variance tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Talk about ISO list sensors. We know that bigger photo sites versus smaller photo sites have better gain over a period of time. Wah, wah. Given a period of time, this has more native sensitivity. You know, one one hundredth of a second here is a lot more signal here than if I were to have one one hundredth of a second. Same lens, same everything else. Everything is absolutely the same, which it never is. Same lens, same everything. Wah, wah. That's yeah versus yeah, so ISO is not sensitivity. Um, I don't want to get into waveforms too much. Um, it would uh, confuse people to talk about upper side band, lower side band. Um, but uh, it is the case that only exposure, like I said, affects actual uh, exposure of the shot. The uh, the uh, the native gain of the photosites, shutter speed, aperture, obviously the case. So what is the actual native exposure or uh, native exposure or latitude uh, of your camera? Is an ISO a sensor? Does it have an anti-aliasing filter? How many stops under can you go and still correctly uh, raise the gain in post? Or even with the, uh, even with the, uh, uh, the ISO of your camera. So we've got a gain knob over here. See, there's a volume knob over here. That's brightening, if you will. Gain knob right here. This is natural sensitivity. ISO is not sensitivity. It is not exposure. I wished people would stop thinking that it is. Someone can say that gain or ISO is like exposure, but uh, all you're doing is dialing up the native uh, shutter speed and aperture sensor gain from photo site size exposure, which lets you uh, mess with uh, either the aperture or shutter speed as you see fit uh, for effect, like depth of field and other things. You know, achieve the best bokeh, the best depth of field, or to capture the proper shutter speed for action. So, you know, if that's if you want to think that ISO uh, lets you play with the the exposure, um, then that's fine. It's like, well, if I dial up the gain, like I dial up the gain down here, wah, it lets me mess with different things. My antenna is not so good. I can dial up the gain. You know, in the case of this, I can stick a better antenna and plug it in on the side there. You can't do that with your camera. The native sensitivity of your camera is fixed once it is manufactured. You can't change that. Um, so there are two ways of uh, looking at this waveform, for example. And let's take a look at this waveform. I said we're going to look at it two different ways, and they're both the same thing, uh, except looked at it in a different way. Uh, the same camera here, wah, wah, versus here, here, but different exposures, okay? Uh, this would be like clipping too. Let's say this harsh is a lot higher and the, it's right here. It's like, well, these are my highlights that's clipped. You know, I've gone too far. I've exposed for my diffuse or midtones, or I've exposed for a shadow, which is really stupid, and my highlights are wah! You know, they're blasted. Same way as turning the gain up on your radio. You know, you go wah! You know, you can still hear stuff, but the important stuff has been clipped. You've clipped it. Different camera with different high ISO performance. FX versus DX. High ISO on a full frame sensor photo site has more gain peaking its head above the noise. This is the head of the full frame sensor peaking its head above the noise. Same thing here. See this has a bigger head? It's peaking itself way above the noise. Right? Bigger photo sites, native gain. That's, this is actual native gain. This is actual sensitivity. Other things actually eliminate uh, this out, which is why everything is kind of going towards a full frame size sensors with DX uh, pix, uh, pixel, pitch, pixel pitches like this. It likes to be a DX photo site versus a full frame photo site. This would be a DX photo site 
compared to the FX flow recite, where you have more dynamic range between yaw and yaw versus yaw and yaw. FX, DX, more dynamic range, more stops between the highlights and the shadows. Wah! More stops of dynamic range, right? Better high ISO performance. That means I can, for example, using these two same mirrors here, I can crank, I want to uh, capture, you know, sports cars going around the track and it's dusk. I'm going to crank the ISO up to, what, 6400. Gain. ISO, gain. Applied gain. Not native gain, but applied gain. Okay, see the difference? This is native gain. Unchanging, fixed, built, permanent. Applied gain. Wah, 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 wah. Cars coming around the track. I'm going to crank my ISO up to 6400. It's dusk. Okay. I'm going to take it with the full frame and the DX. Full frame here, DX here. Okay? Full frame, DX. One, I need one two thousandth of a second or something. Boom. Boop. Oh, whoops. Turn my flashlight on here. Boom. Boop. What do you think gathered more light at one two thousandth of a second? This? Or this? <laughs> okay, now I've adjusted my shutter speed, my aperture out here. What do you think has more native gain? This or this? Boom, boom. Same period of time, same shutter, shutter speed. This is why a full frame sensor has better high ISO performance. The photo sites are wah versus wah. Now, the tricky stuff that comes after this, which you shouldn't involve your mind in too much, is that the difference between here and here over the past 10 years has gone from yaw to yaw. And the reason for that is all the firmware and crap after the sensor. But that's a matter for other discussions, which I've actually already had. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff or go, go uh, I don't know, jump in a lion's cage or something like that. More stuff on ISO, ISO invariants and other stuff like this. Trying to explain it really, really simply using physical analogs because if you can't understand it this way, then you ain't going to understand it. Just understand, though, that ISO is not exposure and it is not sensitivity. This is irrefutable. It's undeniable. It's a hardcore set in stone fact. ISO. Gain. Gain ISO. What sort of gain are we talking about? Applied gain. Native gain? Applied gain. Native? Applied. You got X amount of signal coming in up here. You know, uh, Radio Moscow broadcasting from the other side of the earth. I can't change that. I can't change this antenna on this uh, radio. What I can do is go wah, blast up the gain. Right? And I can use some uh, software and firmware afterwards to clean the signal up. The difference between radio and cameras, it's nothing. It's all EMR. It's all EMR. There's no difference. Your camera works 90%. There's a lot of differences, but it works the same way that this thing does. Okay? Oh my god, there's a gain thing there. There's a gain on your camera too. It's called ISO. It's applied gain. Thank you. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.